When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a thrift with me clothing haul and try on. Um, these items came from um, a local consignment store that we have around here. So if you are interested though in a Goodwill haul, let me know and I would love to do one of those. Um, I already have a very, very old video of like two Goodwill hauls and I love thrifting. So um, most of my wardrobe is actually used clothes, like secondhand clothes. I'm not even kidding. It either came from consignment stores, Goodwill, or free from friends and family. So I would say I am kind of a thrifter. <laughs> but now that I have three kids, um, you gotta save where you can. So I would have done a shop with me in the store, but I had my three kids with me. That would have been a disaster. So you didn't miss anything on that. <laughs> except a lot of crying and a lot of when are we leaving. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right into this haul. Here is my bag. Okay, so the first thing that I grabbed was, if I can ever get it, here we go. This really cute Michael Kors top. It's just a simple black top with the logo logo. And it's like a, let me see if I can get that in there. Like a shimmery metallic, um, silver detail. I don't know what kind of like leopard print, I guess is what it is. So let me get back. So it looks a lot better <laughs> when I go back. So just a simple shirt. Um, I actually made a list and I highly suggest if you're going thrifting, it can get very overwhelming and you can end up getting a bunch of stuff that you really didn't need. You just thought you needed at the time and it's gonna clutter your closet. It's a waste of the money. Um, so I made a list. I made a list of several items that I really needed and what, that's what I looked for. So I just wanted a cute little pop. Um, I just had a baby three months ago now. Oh my goodness. It goes by so fast. So I am in that weird transitional phase where my clothes when I was pregnant don't fit um, and my clothes before I was pregnant don't fit. So. Um, it's really hard trying to find what fits and actually looks good on me or what I think looks good on me, what I feel good and comfortable and confident in. So one thing that I really needed because it's summertime and I have absolutely no shorts that fit are these cute little cut off shorts from American Eagle. Oh, by the way, I didn't even say. So I paid for this shirt um, $8.40. And these shorts were $9.80. So just cute little shorts, simple. I tried them on and they actually fit me well. Uh, the next thing, and this was what I put on my list was activewear. I got these pants and you really can't tell the color on screen that well. I mean, I guess that looks a little more like the color. They're actually kind of like a a rusty, what would you call these? <laughs> like a rusty orange color. 
they're not really even orange. I mean, it kind of looks more coral to me. Um, but it just has my camera won't focus. A cute little detail that goes over like your knee section. So, and they're really stretchy. <laughs> So, um, these were originally like, what was the original price? $4 and 90 cents. And I got this one half off because it was purple tag day. And that meant 50% off of any purple tags. This was actually the only purple tag item that I got, unfortunately. So I paid like $2 and some change for those. And to go with it, I just grabbed this simple Nike, gray Nike top, tank top. I just thought it was cute and comfy looking. So I paid $4.90 for that. So overall I got um, an active wear outfit because they go together <laughs> and they can be paired up with different things, very versatile. I paid under 10 bucks for. You can't beat that. All right. And the last clothing item that I got, which I paid $10.50 for. Um, so on my list, I had um, a romper or a dress because I needed something new for church. And you guys, rompers are just not for me. I don't know if I just cannot find the right fit, but I'm only 5'1", and sorry, my mouth is so dry. Um, I'm only 5'1", and I'm thicker. I'm on the thicker side, <laughs> so um, it, like down here, like I'm thick. Like So rompers are just, it's a hit or miss for me. Um, unfortunately this day it was a total mess. I tried several on and I was like, oh, oh no. Uh, so I ended up getting this dress, which is all tangled up. So I ended up getting this dress. It's very long, but um, it's like a high-low dress and it's still caught up in these little things. So where's the front? Okay, here's the front. So it's just got like a short slip and then a long tail. I just thought this was so cute. <laughs> And I tried it on and I actually felt really good in it. Um, that's like a huge thing about clothes for me is I have to feel comfortable. I have to feel good. Um, so yes, I got that. And I think I paid like $10 for that. Um, the last item that I got, and it's so funny. So this morning, um, not this morning, but the morning of the day that I went, my Fitbit went out on me. <laughs> like it just totally bit the dust. And I feel, I've worn one for so long. I feel empty without it. I just feel like I'm missing a part of me. So I wear it every single day and like it's so important for me to track my steps. Um, I did not honestly have like 150 to $200 to spend on a new one so it was like fate when I found this at the consignment store so I paid it was originally priced for $50 then it went down to $40 and I ended up paying $35 and like there's nothing wrong with it at all it looks brand new. It sure as heck looks better than my other Fitbit that I put through hell. So 
I thought this was just like meant to be. It was the only one there. It was the like same color that I had, the pink or the rose, whatever you call it. So I snagged that thing like that. All right, so that's what I got. Um, I think my total altogether, other than the watch, the total for the clothes was like $30 and then I paid the $35 extra for the Fitbit, which was absolutely worth it. So let's get into a try on and I will let you see what everything looks like. Okay, so here is the shirt and the shorts. Um, the shorts fit, they fit fine. Um, they're still a, a tiny bit snug, but hopefully we'll be able to fit into them soon, like more loose and comfortable. And they're not bad though, so they're really cute. Um, I just wanted a short pair of shorts because my other shorts like come down to here and Yes, I'm a mom, but sometimes, you know, you just want something that makes you feel like you're still in your 20s. <laughs> so anyway, it is what it is. So here are the shorts and here's the shirt, just a simple top. I just paired them together. Okay, so here is the knot dress. Um, I guess I forgot when I tried it on. It's a romper, <laughs> so I got a romper. Um, it's just a high-low. So it's just got a long train. I'm definitely gonna have to wear heels because I'm too short, so. Um, and then you just got these cute little off-the-shoulder bell sleeves. And I love the neckline. Okay, so last one is my activewear outfit. So here are the leggings. They're so thin and soft and stretchy and I love that they're high-waisted. Um, I'm weird. I don't like anything below my belly button most of the time, especially when I'm working out because it just seems to like roll down, if you know what I mean. Um, so then here's just a simple gray Nike tank. This is really, really comfortable and it goes perfect with my Fitbit. I am all ready to work out, um, which I am working on a video for that right now. So this is perfect. This was fate. Um, yeah, so just a cute, comfortable activewear outfit that can go be changed up with a lot of different things. Um, I love the detail right here. I think I actually have a pair of leggings that have this kind of detail on it. Um, they're not as comfortable as these actually. So yeah, here's my active wear outfit. All right guys, so that is my thrifting haul and clothing try on. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like videos like this, which I know I do, I binge watch thrifting videos and try-ons. I absolutely love thrifting. So if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you would like a Goodwill haul. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. So um, until next time, I hope everyone...